Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful Italian capital of Rome and I'm outside the Basilica of St. Paul. Now this is an absolutely magnificent basilica. It is the third largest church, Catholic church in the world and it is the second largest church in Italy after St. Peter, the Basilica in the Vatican. Now, in order to come here, you have to take Line B and uh, the Metro Line B, and that probably explains why not too many people get here. There are three absolutely magnificent things to see when you get here. First of all is the 5th century mosaic that I'm going to show you right in the very beginning. Secondly, we're going to visit together the tomb of St. Paul. And third, we're going to see the portraits of the popes and the mysteries that they hide behind them. Watch the video clips and you will see what I mean. Now, very briefly, there was a church here built by Constantine the Great in the 4th century AD. And this is exactly the, the place where St. Paul was buried after he was decapitated in 79 AD. The church, unfortunately, was destroyed by fire. What you're going to see here is a reconstruction from the 19th century. Enjoy what's coming up. This is Vic from beautiful Rome. Bye-bye. And uh, here's the 5th century mosaic that survived the fire of uh, 1823. Very, very Byzantine looking. In the center you see Jesus. And going from, the, from left to right you see St. Lucas, St. Paul, St. Peter, and then St. Andrew to the right. And then you see other saints on the bottom right there. Just coming here to this basilica to view this mosaic is really worth the time. It looks as if you are, or you have the feeling that you are in Saint Sophia in Constantinople. Now the main reason to visit this magnificent cathedral is to see the tomb of Saint Paul. Right there. You can see the canopy right above the tomb. Behind it you see the uh, mosaic I just showed you. But let's go down there. Okay, let's go now visit the tomb of St. Paul. You need to be careful going down the steps here. Right above the, uh, the tomb you will see the chains or the shackles right there that he was wearing when he was uh, decapitated in uh, 79 AD. And right there, that's the tomb of St. Paul, straight ahead. Right there, right behind this, uh, this gate. I think it's metal. There is a sarcophagus of St. Paul. Here's another view of the chains. Here's a view of the canopy. right above the tomb. Let's take another view. Let's now admire the nave of this magnificent place. Absolutely beautiful, look how big it is. Behind me is the tomb of uh, 
St. Paul. I want to show you how huge it is. You have a feeling that you are somewhere in a square. San Marco Square, probably. St. Mark's Square in, uh, in Venice. Now, each side of the nave has huge Corinthian columns. Look at them here. There's two rows of them. There's one on the outside and one on the inside right there. Right there. Absolutely magnificent. And there is the right there. That's the tomb of St. Paul. Now here's another curious fact about this uh, basilica. You will see in the middle of the frame, right above the columns, here at the main nave, there are circles. You see those circles over there? These are portraits of popes, of previous popes. Every pope after St. Peter is represented here with a portrait. These are all around the church. There's more right there between the two rows of the columns. You can't see them. Now, tradition says that if there's no more space for a portrait of a pope, the world will collapse. Now, the question you may ask is, well, how many places are left? I don't know. Okay, I... Uh, I would like to continue on the last subject regarding the portraits of popes. And I did find a gentleman that works here as a security guard, and I asked him to show me the portrait of Pope Francis, the Argentinian pope, who's right there where the light is. Next to him, you see Pope Benedict, and then John Paul II, right there. Now, let's see how many spaces are left. Okay, let's try again. So there is a space next to Pope Francis in the corner. You see that's empty. And then on the other side of the wall, there are another five for a total of six spaces. Left. Empty. Wow. So with the tomb of St. Paul behind me, let's get a general view of the ceiling of the nave. You can see how magnificent it is right there. Look at that. You can see the two rows of the portraits of the popes. And then if I turn the camera down, you will see the columns on either side of the nave. Right there. And here is a quick view of the entrance to the atrium that leads into the basilica. I want you to see how beautiful it is, how gorgeous it is with these Corinthian columns from white marble. It's shining right there. So in order to go inside this magnificent cathedral, you have to cross this atrium here of these columns. That's the entrance right there. Bye-bye.